and uh, we're honored to have Insurance Commissioner Dave Jones with us here. Uh, and uh, so Dave and his team at the California Department of Insurance have, have, worked, have worked with us uh, on a lot of different cases, and uh, they very diligently worked on this uh, case that we're here to, uh, uh, to discuss. So this was a, uh, uh, a joint operation that the Department of Insurance did, uh, uh, did the main part of the investigation. So we look forward to hearing from Commissioner Jones uh, in, in a minute. The Orange County District Attorney's Office has charged 21 doctors, one physician assistant, two pharmacists, and two business owners with multiple felonies for their participation in the medical insurance fraud scheme. Some of them will be making their first court appearance today. The Kings and their co-defendants have been charged with felony counts of insurance fraud, conspiracy to commit medical insurance fraud, false and fraudulent claims, rebates for patient referrals, and referral of clients for compensation. What are the defendants facing? Tanya King could be sentenced up to 117 years in prison. The two pharmacists could serve up to 28 years, while the sentencing imposed on each of the physicians could be up to 25 years in prison. Fraud, as you know, drives up the cost of medical care and it affects our ability to, uh, it affects the, the ability to conduct business in California. And so, you know, really, we really do need to stay on top of it and get after it to the extent that we can. Tanya Moreland King and Christopher King are accused of being the masterminds behind this scam between 2011 and 2015. Three complex, complex scams resulted in billing 27 insurance carriers in excess of $40 million and collecting more than $23 million. Uh, and the sales of unnecessary com compound creams, repackaged oral pain medications, and urine text, uh, text toxicology tests. So the first scam is uh, referred to as the snake oil scam. The Kings are accused of working with pharmacists and co-defendant Charles Bonner, owner of Stevens Bar Pharmacy in Costa Mesa, uh, to manufacture a variety of creams that didn't cure anything and uh, that had not been approved by the FDA. The Kings are accused of purchasing the creams for between $15 and $40 per tube, which by the way I thought was a pretty high price right there, uh, and billing to the uh, patients' workers' compensation carriers between $250 and $700 per two. Tanya King is accused of recruiting physicians to participate in the scam through the use of a flat $50 rate to the physician for a share in the profits. The second thing is the, the medication kickback scam. And in that situation, the Kings are accused of purchasing repackaged oil, excuse me, repackaged oral pain medications from two different companies. New Care Pharmaceuticals in Orange, and AS Medication Solutions in Costa Mesa. Using their company, Monarch Medical Group, as a cover, the Kings are accused of repackaging the medication sent directly to the physicians involved in the scam. As the doctors dispensed the medication, the barcode on the packaging was scanned, notifying the Kings. In turn, they're accused of billing workers' compensation insurance carriers without disclosing the wholesale cost or the fact that they purchased the medication on behalf of the physicians who ultimately prescribed it. Once the Kings receive the payment, they're accused of splitting the profits with the prescribing physician based upon a free range agreement. The number three scam is a bogus urine test. The Kings are accused of providing technical staff to participating physicians' offices through their company, One Source Labs. The doctors are accused of ordering unnecessary urine tests under the guise of verifying patients on workers' compensation insurance where, uh, who were taking their medications as prescribed. The doctors are accused of ordering unnecessary urine tests under the guise of verifying that the patients were taking their medications as they were supposed to. The tests were only given to patients who suffered injuries at work 
and not individuals who actually may have needed any urine testing. The samples were then tested by one source lab technicians or doctor staff and built to the insurance company on behalf of the physicians by team medical management. Not satisfied with the profits from one test, the results were then referred to Pacific Toxicology Laboratory for additional testing regardless of the results. Through their company, One Source Labs, the Kings are accused of paying Pacific Toxicology a flat rate of $60 per test and billing the insurance companies hundreds of dollars per test per patient. We've all been appalled to see huge medical bills that appear to be out of proportion to the services and products provided. This fraudulent conduct helps to drive the, helps to drive the, um, the problem, driving the price of insurance It's not exactly a mystery why our medical premiums are so high. Inexpensive and unnecessary creams, medications, and urine tests were being ordered, prescribed, and billed to work as insurance carriers at a huge profit. Over a period of four years, using their various companies and co-conspirators, the Kings are accused of victimizing more than 13,000 patients and collecting over $23 million dollars from 27 workers' compensation insurance carriers through the sale of unnecessary products and procedures. Of this profit, over $2.1 million was kicked back to individual physicians, pharmacists, and doctor's offices that are listed on the screen. The Orange County District Attorney's Office will continue to be a leader in the state and prosecuting these types of crimes because they affect the health of our economy and our bodies. Certainly the great majority of doctors and physicians are ethical to the highest degree. They provide valuable and critical services. And they have the integrity to build, to build honestly and in keeping with the services they provide. But in order for our system to survive, we need to deal with a few dishonest members of this great profession. The intent of many of the laws surrounding the insurance industry is to keep the three P's, physician, patient, and profit, separated. We have a track record of putting these types of problems, people behind bars, for a long time. And we intend to keep that. So now let's uh, hear from Insurance Commissioner Jones. <coughs> Thank you very much, Tony. It's a real privilege to be here with you today and your team. And I want to begin by thanking Tony and Orange County District Attorney's Office uh, for their extraordinary work uh, with the California Department of Insurance, with our enforcement branch in investigating and now prosecuting those that were involved in this massive fraud scheme. Now, my name is Dave Jones, and I have the privilege of serving as California's insurance commissioner. I lead the Department of Insurance, which has 1,400 employees, 400 of whom are devoted to fighting fraud. We're a law enforcement agency. We have uh, professional peace officers who work to investigate all types of insurance frauds, auto, home, life, health, disability, and workers' compensation insurance fraud. Our detectives are very good at what they do. Uh, they have a great deal of experience in not only the insurance business, but in the types of schemes like that, which is being uh, discussed today, which cost all of us. Insurance fraud is oftentimes referred to as a victimless crime, but as you can see from this case, there are many victims. Certainly, the insurance companies uh, that are billed for services that were unnecessarily provided, that cost ends up coming out of our wallets because those costs get passed on to those of us that buy insurance or to businesses that buy insurance for their employees, in this case workers' compensation insurance, and they raise the price of goods and services so we all pay. But in addition, the very integrity, the very integrity of the provision of medical care can be undermined by fraud when medical providers, as in this case physicians, are taking kickbacks instead of making referrals for treatment based on what is in the best interest of the patient. 
I think it's important to note, too, that of the various types of insurance fraud, regrettably, medical provider fraud is the fraud that has the largest average suspected losses across all categories of fraud. And that's why, under my leadership, we made it a priority. We put together a task force dedicated to going after medical provider fraud. And this is one of a number of cases, but this is an important case and one that is one of the larger cases in terms of the number of physicians involved and the dollars of fraud. And so we truly appreciate our close working relationship with the Orange County District Attorney's Office and in both investigating and bringing to justice these wrongdoers. And Tony described uh, in detail the fraudulent scheme. Uh, it's uh, one that involves uh, co-conspirators uh, masterminded by Tanya Morgan King, $40 million in fraudulent billings, more than two dozen medical professionals allegedly conspiring to defraud 20 insurance companies, 13,000 patients' care was involved in this scheme. Now these are very egregious crimes. When the health of individuals is put at risk because a physician is getting a kickback, and that kickback is determining whether they're going to prescribe medications, whether they're going to do a test, uh, whether they're going to provide particular types of medical treatment instead of what is in the interest of the patient, that undermines the very system of medical care. In addition to adding burdens and costs to employers, consumers, and our overall economy. These physicians betray the trust that patients put in them to put their care first and foremost. They violated their oath as physicians, and they violated the law. Patients have a right to expect that medical care will be provided based on their needs, not based on kickbacks in the tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars, even millions of dollars paid to physicians to induce them to order treatments that are unnecessary. Now, it's very unfortunate that the workers' compensation insurance system has become a magnet for this sort of fraud. But thanks to district attorney's offices like this one and the leadership of Tony and his team, we're making sure that when we discover these frauds, we completely investigate them and we bring the wrongdoers to justice. And we hope that sends a clear signal to others out there. As Tony said, the vast majority of medical providers are upstanding professionals that do the right thing. But in any profession, there are always a few that seek to take advantage. And the clear message we want to send today is that if you're committing these frauds, if you're ripping off insurance companies, and consumers, and employers, and ultimately putting patient care at risk, we're going to come after you. So again, my thanks to the Orange County District Attorney's Office. I also want to thank the Orange County Regional Office of the California Department of Insurance's Enforcement Branch. Uh, the detectives there did an extraordinary piece of work here. These are very complicated schemes. They require a tremendous amount of effort to uncover, to put together the evidence, and to follow in a way that makes sure we have everything we need to be successful in prosecuting the wrongdoers. And I want to thank the men and women that were involved in this investigation for such a